Hey guys, this is Nico and I'm back for another video. Today, I will be making my comeback to the music reviewing scene. I'm sorry guys, I haven't been reviewing lately. I've been busy with school and other things and I just haven't been in the loop of it. But don't worry, I've been listening to progressive rock, progressive metal, and anything that is to be expected to be reviewed on this channel. So, anyway, uh, for all your... Thank you for your continued loyalty and thank you for your... Um, continuing to comment on my channel even though I've been a little bit inactive but don't worry I'm going to be more active now and so here we go for your F for a reward that you guys been uh, staying loyal to me I'm going to be reviewing Dream Theaters images and words I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you know this album and listen to it 20 dozen times but I just want to review it, so just to review it and talk about it. So here we go. Um, this here we go in the Dream Theater. In case you guys don't know, Dream Theater is a progressive metal band, the most popular, along with Opeth. But they're, they're a different um, type of progressive metal. Uh, so let's get straight into the review here. Uh, this album. Uh, was released in July 7th, 1992, um, and this was released after their unsuccessful effort, which was called When Dream and Day and Night. That may be a little bit controversial topic, so in case you guys want to uh, mention it down there, if you like the previous album to this, just mention it in the comments below. And if this is better, just mention that in the comments below, um, so we can get some discussion going amongst us progressive rock fans or classic rock or whatever or metal fans uh, but anyway um, let's get back to the task at hand um, so you so this album was released July 7 1992 seems like a while ago but anyway uh, this is one of the first progressive rock and metal um, albums out there I may be wrong on that but I know during the late 80s and the 90s, this, the movement started to pick up. Uh, and Dream Theater started, this was their album that kicked them off to fame amongst us progressive metal geeks or nerds. <laughs> but um, anyway, so this is a very great album by them and let's go track by track now. Uh, so the first song, which is definitely overhyped, but I still like it, is Pull Me Under. Um, I like the full version better than the video version. The video version, they just totally destroy the song. Um, they take out some of the beginning passage of it, take out the instrumental passages. Let me just say one thing. Why are you, would you listen to this music if you don't want the length and the complexity? That boggles me. Some of my friends just listen to the hits and say, oh, I know of this band. Just don't even listen to them if you just listen to the hits. Listen to something like uh, the Buggles or the or Journey, just listen to Don't Stop Believing and just get pumped up. But that's just my rant. If you guys agree that you just are annoyed when people listen to the hits only, just put in the comments below. But I'm not going to let this rant detract from the task at hand, which is reviewing this masterpiece right here. So let's continue. Uh, so pull me under which this is the original version that clocks in at 8 minutes and 11 seconds And then what follows it is another day. This is a nice ballad. I, I like dream theaters ballads People may call them corny, but I believe they're essential to the album and to calming yourself down from this recent pumped up song and Just reflecting and some the lyrics throughout some of them are pretty good but this one clocks in at 4 minutes and 22 seconds and then we have Take the Time, which everybody knows, but it's not really overhyped. It's really popular amongst Dream Theater fans. Take the Time, it's a great track. It inspires you to just take it day by day, and it pumps you up. It, like, for example, the track pumps me up and encourages me when I go to a swim meet, and it helps me to swim fast and reach my goal. And the lyrics on it are pretty are really good. So. Then Surrounded is uh, another ballad, but it picks up the pace around the middle of the song. It clocks in at 5 minutes 28 seconds. And pardon me for missing Take the Time, it clocks in at 8 minutes and 21 seconds. 
and then Metropolis Part 1. I haven't appreciated this mu song much in the past, in my past listings of the album, or the tracks from the album, but I'm starting to appreciate it now, and I haven't really listened much to the lyrics on it, but I'm going to soon get to it. Uh, I like the sound effects at the beginning, and how it starts to get like the rest of the pace on the album, this track, so just take the time. It has this feel to it that pumps you up, but anyway. And then you, in the, the subtitle to it is The Miracle and the Sleeper clocks in at 9 minutes and 30 seconds. It's one of the longer tracks in the album, but it doesn't feel like it when you're listening to it. And then the next track is Under a Glass Moon, which is, is still is a pretty good track, but it doesn't reach the heights of some of the other tracks in here. Some of you may disagree with that. I haven't listened to it much, so it just may be a listening thing, but just leave that in the comments below. And then Wait for Sleep, this track is just absolute, absolutely beautiful. I love this track. It's, whenever I walk out at night and look at the moon, it helps me to reflect, wait for sleep. Um, it's just a really good track, and it tells a story, too. So, I haven't listened much, again, I haven't listened much to the lyrics of that song, but anyway. It clocks in at 2 minutes and 31 seconds, and Under a Glass Moon clocks in at 7 minutes and 2 seconds. And then the final track that closes it all, which is fitting as a final track, is Learning to Live, which clocks in at 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, this track starts out with keyboards like do 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 So, it's a really good track. Uh, it has a little bit of 90s era progressive metal in the music, but it's still good. I love that track. Pump, again, it pumps you up. This whole album pumps you up. But, and is very great album. But anyway, that covers the tracks. Uh, let's move into inside. And this album is uh, this is packing a jewel case. This version, at least, there may be some in a cardboard casing. But anyway, uh, I lo always love the artwork Dream Theater does. I just think it's awesome. Um, so some of the the back here looks a little bit dated, of, for obvious reasons of the era. But it's still pretty cool to look at. Oh. Then in here, uh, I'm going to take the booklet out. You have the Dream Theater, the obligatory heart with the flame on top, which is pretty nice. Um, it's like their logo. I have the CD here, which is some nice work to it. Then you have, you go into the booklet. You have your lyrics in here, if you just want to know the meaning of the songs and stuff. Then you have the dated artwork in the back. No, it's not really dated, but I still like it. But anyway, there's the booklet for you guys. So, uh, if you haven't heard of Dream Theater, I don't know where you have been, but they are a great band, Chris Ruffin, and this album is one of their masterpieces. Perhaps overhyped, yeah, that's arguable, but they're still a great, uh, it's just still a great album, and I highly suggest listen to it. And please put comments below if you liked it, what experiences you had with the album, or anything, just leave the comment below. And again, I'm going to film more videos shortly, and I'm sorry I've been on a little hiatus, been a little lazy perhaps, or been on work. But anyway, thank you guys again for giving me comments and stuff, and I hope to be doing more videos soon, and again, thank you for everything guys, it wouldn't be possible without you, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace out.